This is my warm beverage container, as Sheldon Cooper would say. I've got green tea, my favorite tea, which is this cranberry, apple, and cinnamon. I'm out of ginger, and then I, when I go to sleep, I have to drink these chamomile flowers. Then I've got hot chocolate. So today I'm going to have this cappuccino. I'm going to breakfast um, in about an hour, so I just need something warm, not so much caffeine. I don't think this cappuccino is caffeinated and then I'll have coffee at the brunch or at the breakfast before I go off and get everything though I need to do quite a bit of finalizing everything for the year so that involves getting all my invoices out following up on invoices that are outstanding just all the admin responding to emails and things like that and just letting everyone know when i'll be back next year and that i'm closing shop and stuff like that so i'm gonna do that and then i'm gonna leave and go get it i am listening to outlier again i just enjoyed this book so much that i'm re-listening to it again on audible and i highly recommend it if you want something to listen to that's quite extraordinary i really really like this look so i'm getting ready to host this evening i'm hosting my friends giving i've just taken out all of my serveware and then now i'm just going to make the uh, menu or place cards for my guests <music> all the pieces that I need as you can see these sheets were really inexpensive they're eight rand but they're incredible quality paper and then This is just an example. And then I'm gonna stick it like that. Obviously I'm not gonna make them this colorful. I'm just gonna do that maybe. And then I'm just gonna put that on their um, dinner plate, their name, and just a message that I'm really thankful for their uh, support this year. So I'm gonna do that and then leave in a bit to go and get all the food that I still need to get and all the drinks that I need to get. But this is just what I'm gonna do for a bit. Okay guys, I just finished with the place cards or the name cards. So this is the way that I am going to put on my plate. I'm obviously not going to show the ones that I'm going to put on other people's plates. But um, yeah, this is just what I've done. This is the one that I did as an example. And I really am thankful for you guys. So I'm going to quickly take a shower now and then be on my way to buy the rest of the stuff like the alcohol so that it can be chilling in the fridge and some salads that I want to just not I've cook. just finished showering. It's 12 o'clock now, and this is just what I'm wearing to go and get the rest of the stuff that I need as well as the alcohol. These are my flats from Woolworths. This dress is from Contempo, 
and this is my bag from poetry and my earrings are also from poetry so i'm just gonna quickly go get all that and then get the table started and the house cleaned so yeah all right go i'm just picking up my lunch I'm gonna get some Nando's so that I don't shop while I'm hungry because then I'll be buying all sorts of things. Can I get a bougie bowl? The original or the one with the avocado? The original. The one with the halloumi. Is that the original? Hello. Nando's order is almost always exactly the same like a quarter leg chicken in tangy tomato. Let all the juices out. A veggie Fuji bowl, aka the most delicious thing on earth. The halloumi, my gosh. The peppers, where on earth did they get them? And because I always convince myself they've convinced me to get a side, some spicy wedges. Ooh, child. Because the chicken alone is the same amount of money as with a side and i used to only get the chicken alone and then this one girl corrupted me she's like oh you can actually get one side so this is always my order and then always pour the mojito into a nice glass but i keep the straw because um black stores make me feel like i live in la or something can't forget that mint here eh? can't forget that mint get all the mint. a lovely meal that looks a bit home cooked, but isn't. Let's take away. everything is at Glenda's. Can't wait for tonight because this looks amazing. We've got the full chicken and the lamb chops and the salad dressing. <laughs> for six people so i quickly just need to go and get two more pieces of cutlery hopefully they still make the kind that i have and then i'm heading home then i'm heading home the uh, checkers is on my way so i'll just pop into the checkers and get the cutlery and then um i think i'm just gonna get home do a clean sweep of the house see if everything is just neat and presentable and then i will take a shower get ready i'll show you what i'm gonna be wearing and to my guests i already created a whatsapp group and everything <laughs> and i like gave everyone my address and stuff i'm so excited about this this has always been my dream with like owning a home and all of that so and also these friends completely deserve it so yeah i'm in shaky ground now so i'm gonna end this here perhaps it will just be a montage from now on but who knows uh, who knows you'll see
currently 1 30 a.m i'm about to go to bed because i am pretty tipsy right now all my guests left well fed and quite drunk because we had quite a lot to drink we still even have more booze in the fridge but i hope if you've got any hosting ideas from me that you tag me on your stories on your instagram anywhere you choose to post your hosting um things but i pray and hope that each and every one of you have a very merry christmas thank you so much for joining me thank you so much for being subscribers to my channel and i will see you in my next one bye guys